Yankees fans, what is up? It is Felix yet again from nyynews.com. If you're trying to leave me a voice message, the service that I used changed the number because I was on vacation for like two weeks, and I guess if it's inactive, they reinstate a phone number. So the new number is 646-396-6916. It's 646-396-6916. That's a unusual phone number but i guess this is why it's free right so yankees fans we almost saw the sunny gray show once again today he worked himself out of jams though but if you ask me it was another sunny gray start it could have been uglier sure he gave the yankees some innings sure he kept the yankees in the game but his true real test will be in his next start so let's say if he shows improvements, if he can bounce back from the earlier starts, if he can show a better outing than he did versus the Houston Astros, which is really going to be a hard task. But what I'm saying is not walking batters, giving up hits, loading up the bases, getting yourself into jams. Like I said, it could have been way uglier. But the good news here is, folks, that Let's say Sonny Gray does put up legit numbers. Do you trade him for Patrick Corbin come trade deadline? Uh, D-back fans who are like five days late or now spamming my Twitter, they only read the title. It stated, a trade that might happen, Sonny Gray for Patrick Corbin. And in that video, I clearly state that obviously the Yankees are going to include other players with Sonny Gray. It makes sense to obtain Sonny Gray with other players players for the simple fact that he is a free agent after the 2020 season and let's say the Yankees trade away let's say Chance Adams or other prospects I mean it makes pretty much good sense to trade with the Yankees if the Yankees want to trade for Patrick Corbin all these delusional D-back fans that say hey Patrick Corbin is going to stay a D-back I mean you guys are delusional that's not how baseball works he's a free agent in 2019 the Diamondbacks are not winning the world series come on let's be realistic here they're a good team but they're not going to win the world series if anything they'll make it the first round of a wild card playoff situation or maybe make it not as a wild card team who knows it's still early in the season and they don't realize that patrick corbin might fall off he might not be the same picture that you're seeing now come trade deadline so sunny gray for patrick corbin is not that far-fetched Obviously, the Yankees are going to include other players. So these D-back fans that are spamming my Twitter, spreading fake news, actually click a link, hear what I have to say or others have to say, and really, your opinions are based off of just reading a title. Stop being lazy, read, or listen. I mean, it makes it that much easier. Just listen. I mean, I guess you guys are that lazy that you can't listen to what somebody has to say and just base your opinions off of a title so like i said sunny gray for patrick corbin doesn't seem that far-fetched and getting back to sunny gray yes i wish and i hope for the best for sunny gray but we can't have that situation where austin romine has to catch for sunny gray i mean you saw today our offense was offensively slow they barely scored runs, and they almost got no hit to, what, the sixth inning? But yeah, I know what you're going to say. Oh, Austin Romine um, broke up that no-hitter. I mean, really, every time that Austin Romine catches, we sacrifice another bat in our lineup. So Yankees fans, like I predicted, the Yankees would win 9 or 10 straight. I even told you guys, the Yankees will sweep the Angels. And I'm going to say this again. The Yankees are going to win the series against the Houston Astros. Verlander might not have a good game. He might not pitch like he's been pitching all season long. I think the Yankees are going to get to him. And we also saw the missed opportunities by the Astros. They, would, they could have poured it on Sonny Gray. If you ask me, the Houston Astros are not offensively performing like they should. So it should be smooth sailing for the Yankees if they can't get to the Astros starting rotation. And in my opinion, they are. But we didn't see that with Morton on the mound because that guy 
for some reason, owns the Yankees. And for some reason, his velocity is just insane. Now, when he came up, he pitched around like 94 to 95. Now he's pitching around 100 to 98, which is kind of weird to me. But um, yeah, Yankees fans, no need to worry. The Yankees will rebound versus Verlander. Verlander is one of the greatest of all time, but he will falter against the Yankees. The Yankees have a history of hitting Verlander and just uh, pushing him around. So uh, we saw that in the ALCS. So nothing to worry about. Like I said, I predict that the Yankees will win this series. If anything, they'll split. But look for the Yankees to sweep these following three games. I'll bet money on it. I mean, the way the Yankees have been clicking, their chemistry, etc., they're good to go. But I wish that Tyler Austin will come back and play first base because Walker, even though he's been tattooing the ball, it's landing inside gloves. So Tyler Austin, if you ask me, if you plug him in there, he's another bat, another scary bat for that fact in your lineup. So, Yankees fans, like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.